Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something... Well, today I'm listening to your advice. I don't know if you saw my latest video in which I painted an oil painting. It was not a success, but I did receive some really good advice from you, some pointers, some things I could try to make it better. So I thought today I'm going to try to paint the same painting again but keeping in mind your advice. So I went through the comments, I made a list of everything you told me, and I will try everything that I can today. Some advice were more regarding normal oil paints, but I'm using water-soluble oil paints. So some of these advice were not very applicable to this type of paint, but I'm still gonna mention them throughout the video. So you can take note of these advice and maybe it's going to apply to you or maybe you're going to have some things to add on top of these advice and feel free to write everything down in the comments because I'm reading everything and I'm taking notes. <laughs> so today I'm going to try again the Holbein Duo Aqua Oil Paints. So it's a 20 color set. One of the comments that I had in my last video was that maybe the oil paint is not a good quality and that's why I struggled a little bit. And that could be true because this set, well, I don't think that sets are renowned for their quality usually. And this one was pretty affordable. Well, I think it was around 150 or something like that for quite a good amount of color. So that's why I'm thinking maybe it might not be the best quality. But also, I don't have a lot of experience with oils, so I cannot tell you how they feel compared to other good quality oils because I don't have that experience. So if you want to know more about that aspect of these paints, maybe go try to find somebody else who's a bit more experienced. But I kind of feel like even though these are not, maybe not good quality, they should be good enough for me, for somebody who is a hobbyist painter, to create something that is passable, you know. I think that my latest painting that I did was okay. It's just, it's not what I wanted to do and I had some struggles. So today we are going to try to do better using the same paints, but just switching things up. The first thing that I did was taking an old canvas that I had before Something else was on there, something that I painted a long, long time ago that has no use anymore. And I put a coat of gesso on top. Somebody commented that my canvas looked like it was very porous, so it absorbed a lot, maybe a bit too much. So they suggested that I put a coat of gesso on top of what was already on the canvas. These are quite cheap canvas that I got at a local art store. They were already primed but I guess that adding one more coat of gesso cannot hurt. So I did that and I'm going to go sand it. So this is the painting that I did before. This is not the style I wanted it to be in. I wanted it to be much looser. So I decided I would try again on this fresh old canvas. I'm gonna put it here. And I'm going to keep this painting not too far, just so I keep it as reference. I don't know if you saw, I did some fancy eyeshadow because today is a very great day and I feel like I needed a pop of color just to feel motivated and excited about this day. Let's talk about the plan. I sanded this down and it's so soft. I never sanded down a gesso board before. I wiped the dust with a rag and it's very soft. We'll see what will happen. I know that usually artists put many coats of gesso, but since this board was already gessoed and I used, I think, acrylic on top and then I put another coat of gesso, I'm kind of hoping that this is gonna be enough, but you're welcome to disagree with me in the comment and tell me why. Let's talk about the list of stuff that I took note of. Add an extra layer of gesso on the canvas so it's less porous. 
Done. Then, mix bigger quantities of paint. This is something I think I struggled with before because my tubes are quite small. So I think instinctively I just tended to mix a small amount of paint also. So I think I just need to mix a bigger quantity because I have this paint to use it. I need to use it. If I don't use it, what's the point of having all this paint? So I'm going to mix more colors, a bigger amount, and I think it's gonna help me in the application. That's a plan. Then, I had trouble at some point spreading the paint. I think maybe I didn't have enough paint on my brushes, but someone also mentioned maybe try a different brush. I don't have different brushes. So I'm going to use the same ones. They are cheap brushes made for oil paints, so I think it's gonna be okay. Also, I'm thinking if I change everything, then I'm not gonna know what the real problem was because I changed so many elements that I don't know if it was a combination of changes or if it was like one big change that helped me out a lot. So anyway, I don't have other brushes. The main reason is that is that I didn't wanna buy any more brushes because I have these, they should work. And I don't paint a lot with oil, so I don't really want to go buy more brushes. Then, there were some comments about compositions and light versus dark values that distracted the eye from the main subject. So some people told me that there were too many light values up top here, so the eye went from here to the top instead of like honing in on the subject. So I think I'm going to think about this a bit more, maybe add less light values. And what I'm thinking is that instead of like having all these little lines, I just want to have blocks of colors. I'm thinking of maybe like adding the shore here and the reflection of the trees, like something that would allow me to have like a block of darker values. We're gonna see. Somebody also told me that the bolt was too low. There were too much blank area up top. I'm not sure if I agree. I wanted this character to be right in the center of the painting. I'm gonna think about it. Maybe I'm gonna put her a bit higher and see. Because I'm here to make changes and try stuff out. I also know I wanna change the color palette. I do not like this color palette. What else? I also had difficulty with layering paints. So I think what I'm gonna do today, because it's complicated, thick on thin, keeping in mind the oil content of the mediums I'm using, it's quite complicated. So I think I'm gonna go a la prima, which means that I'm going to aim for one layer only. And I might only mix my paint with linseed oil. The first layer though is going to be like the underpainting, so I think I'm going to mix it with water because it's water soluble paint, so my water will act as a solvent. It's going to thin my paint out. I'm going to just put one layer of color and then I'm going to mix my paint with linseed oil, which I have not tried yet. So I think I'm going to try that, try to do a la prima. I think that's it. That's it for now. That's enough thing to focus on. I worked on the sketch. I based it on this one. As you saw, I took some measurements here and there with my brushes to try to have similar proportions. For this one, I don't know if you remember, but I used the grid method to replicate my sketch that I had printed out. And this time I want my painting to be looser. I feel like the grid method would prevent me from just splashing paint everywhere and being loose because I would get stuck in like trying to replicate the details and having the line exactly where it should be and this is something that I've been trying to work on lately not 
only in like oil paintings but like in everything that I'm doing I'm trying to be looser so I felt like having a grid method would not be the solution that I want right now now what I think I should do is just work on big blobs of color but I first have to figure out what color palette I want lots of thinking to do my official oil painter suit so I have to tell you right now that I am going to open the window I have this fan that you oh, you can see a little bit I'm gonna turn on this fan and I'm also gonna turn on the air purifier so it's gonna make a lot of noise because I want this room to be uh, as non-toxic as possible since we're using oils How do one uses an easel like this because my paintings keep falling oh my god okay and um, let let's talk about the painting a little bit since we're here together so far I like the paint consistency a thousand times better I've been mixing a lot more paint and I've been using the linseed oil so I like it a lot I'm using some greens for now and so far I think it's fine but now I cannot see anything it's too dark in here so I'm gonna turn on the light and I'm sorry it might mess up the colors that you see I'm gonna try to do a good white balance but when I turn on this light which is very yellow yeah yeah it's not ideal but I don't have a choice I can't see anything okay.
I'm pretty much done. I like this painting much better. I'm going to show you the result and tell you a bit more about my final thoughts in a minute. But the only thing that I hate so much is her face. I wish she didn't have a face. I like the rest. But the face, oh my God, I hate it. I like the style a lot better. I like that I was able to be loose, but doing a freaking face, never again. I'm never again painting a portrait it in oils. Anyway, I don't really like painting portraits in general, but this one pisses me off so much. So I'm thinking about just like, like this. Here, so she has kind of a face, but not too much, and uh, it kind of looks like I messed it up on purpose. Okay, guys, today is the next day, and I feel much better. Yesterday, I think you saw me getting a bit frustrated, and um, this is pretty much the most frustrated you might see me ever <laughs> so you saw me at my worst then which is not bad i think i think it's not that bad it's just the face it sucked to get to this point this finishing point and that i cannot do the freaking face i did something in the end which i'm not mad about the only thing is that i don't really like the color of the face so i might just bring in a little bit more orange, a, bit, a little bit more warm tones, just a tiny bit. I don't want to render it too much. And then we're going to call it a day. But overall, I like this painting a thousand times better than the previous one, which I'm going to show you when I'm finished. So let's just try to work on it, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes max, and then it's going to be finished. Okay, All right. I just changed my battery and this one's still dead. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this painting today and forever. I don't think I'm gonna touch it again. I think that we we did what we wanted to do. Let's check back on all the comments that I had just to see if I forgot something. I added an extra layer of gesso on the canvas. I liked how the paint spread. Not sure if it's because of the gesso or if it's because of other reasons, but so far, I guess that's good. Good result. Uh, mixing bigger quantities of paint. That's what I did. And I feel like I had a lot more to work with. I had more waste though. And I know that someone suggested before to use that waste on another small canvas, which I could have done. It's just when I finished yesterday, I was kind of over it. So I threw everything away because of emotions. <laughs> and uh, today I mixed a bit of paint just to work on the face a little bit more. 
and I have other stuff to do today so I can't paint and then I work for the next seven days in a row so I don't I won't have time to paint so I throw it away again so that's the downside but I guess it's fixable if I plan enough time to work on a smaller canvas try different brushes we did not do that and it went okay so I think I'm, it's not my brushes the problem Add lighter colors further down, like brighter blues. Well, I did not add blues. I did not really use blues in this uh, painting, but I focused the lighter specks of colors, like the reflection from the sky in the lower part, and I put way less in the top part. I'm going to show you some close-ups later, don't worry. But maybe you can already see, compared to this one, where it's super busy up top right here. This one is way less busy. I feel like you really focus on the main character and what's going on here. And this is just like the background. Compared to this one, where it's busy everywhere, I feel like the eye doesn't know where to go. I think that this one is a lot more clearer. So there's that. Also, somebody suggested to me to put the boat a bit higher up in the image. And at first I was like, well, I, I'm not sure I put it in the, like in the center, but they were right. I put it slightly higher, just a little bit. And I think it makes a big difference. If we can talk about the face right now, I guess I could work on it a lot more still. It's just, I don't want to. This was more of a practice than like a final painting. It's nothing, I'm not gonna sell this. I'm not gonna do anything with this. So I think that I'm just over it. I'm gonna stop here, but I really do not like her face. I feel like the proportions are not good. She has way too much hair for the amount of face that she has. The colors are weird. The shapes are weird. Um, but here too, the proportions were weird. Her head was so big compared to her body. So uh, yeah, let's just forget about this part right here and look at the rest. What else? Just use linseed oil. That's what I did as my medium. The other time around I used other mediums, but this time I use only linseed oil. And I like the consistency of the paint so much. And since I was painting a la prima, which means in only one layer, then I feel like I was allowed to only use a very oily medium. Um, there was too much light values and distraction that takes the eye away from the subject. So I think that we fixed that. And yeah, this morning I, I worked a little tiny bit on the face, just a little bit, just to like make it warmer. And I added a little bit more contrast in the lady overall because I felt like there was lots of contrast on the top and bottom, but this part felt lacking. So I added just a little bit darker values in the shade areas. And that's it. So if you compare the both, you'll see that the other one is way more detailed. And this one is not. It's less detailed, but it's up to the viewer to see what they want to see to find its own meaning whereas the first one is like i tell you what it is and this is what it is like there's no room for interpretation it's literal i think that's why i want to step away from super rendered perfect paintings i want the viewer to be able to see what they feel like seeing i want everybody to have their own interpretation and I want movement. I want, I want you to be able to see the brush strokes and feel the energy. Okay, so that's it. I like this experience a lot better than my first one. I think next painting that I'm going to do with oils, I'm going to stay away from portraits. But I would love to paint some still lifes or flowers or maybe some landscapes. Yeah, if you have more advice comments, uh, constructive criticism, please leave them in the comments below because I'm going to take note of all of that in order to get better and maybe one day I'll be like a pro at oils, who knows? <laughs> maybe oil is going to be my main medium. 
I'm going to show you some close-ups now so you can compare the two paintings. Tell me what you think, please, 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 I'd love to know. Please leave a like because I went through a lot of emotional struggles <laughs> for this one, for the face at least. And please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you back. Next time will be another video, but not of an oil painting, probably watercolors or something, something, we'll see. It's a surprise. So stay tuned. All right, thank you for watching and uh, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.